talk about the importance of nothing. You get up every day, you're entitled to nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. You could have talent, but if you don't have discipline and you don't execute, you don't focus, what do you get? Nothing. If you're complacent and not paying attention to detail, what does that get you? Nothing. So nothing is acceptable but your best. So we need to be, everything is determined by what you do and you trying to be your best so that you can build on positive performance so that, and that's, that's the only thing there should be nothing else right, but that, you know, for everybody. Um, so that's what we have to stay focused on. That's what we need to do. Um, and, you know, we got rained out today, so we had to go inside. And um, we, need, we, we need to not accept anything but our best in terms of what we're doing in preparation. Hey, Coach. Uh, I know James Spann brought it to your attention last week, but with there being an eclipse during the game, do you prepare the team for that distraction? I think you have to prepare your team for every distraction. I actually think we should, the best way to do that would be text it to them so they can read it on their phone. All right. So, because sometimes they don't listen. All right. But if you text it to them, they'll read it. All right. So, um, that might be a new technique that we try. Should text them what they're supposed to do on the field. Probably get it then. Uh, Arkansas has a linebacker, Jaheim Thomas, who's one of the leaders in tackling in the conference. What have you seen from him on film so far? Look, they're, 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 their whole front seven is very aggressive, very physical. Uh, they play well together. They execute their scheme really, really well. Uh, we're going to have to do a great job up front. Um, and that's going to be the challenge. And this guy is – you know, really good tackler, very productive, very instinctive, good athlete, physical, tough guy. So he's one of the better linebackers we played against. Uh, Tim Keenan's emergence, what has he kind of allowed you guys to do um, defensively on the front just with the way he's been playing the last few weeks? Well, the one thing it's been allowed us to do all year is, you know, Jaheim had played nose last year. All right, so his emergence as a good inside player and a good nose you know, let's just play Jaheim at, you know, five technique, and then the two of them play inside when we go to four down guys. So uh, it's given us a lot of diversity in how we can use other players. But, you know, he's played really, really well, uh, been very productive, um, smart, very dependable. Uh, you can always count on him to do his job. Uh, he works hard. He gives great effort. So, um, and, you know, he he's kind of made himself a player here. Uh, he He's worked his way up so that, you know, he's a very, very productive player, and you know, he could have done what some other guys do and say, Well, you know, I don't, I'm not going to play that much. So I'm not going to work that hard, but this guy worked hard for every minute since he's been here to get where he's at, and it's paying off for him. Nick? How has the left tackle rotation benefited Elijah and Caden? I'm sorry. How has the left tackle rotation, kind of, kind of flipping them both in games, how has that benefited both of them in the development? Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I don't, I can't answer that, to be honest with you. And I'm not trying to be facetious or anything. You know, I think both guys have shown promise, you know, when they've played. Uh, and both guys have sort of had a few hiccups, you know, when they've played. Um, but I think, you know, both guys have played well enough that, there should be some consideration for them both playing uh, at some position or splitting time at one position, however you want to look at it. Uh, but they're both young players, so their adaptability to do multiple things is probably something that will be a little bit of a work in progress. Um, general football question here. I want to ask you about the practice of offensive linemen getting behind running backs, shoving them across the goal line, like a rugby play. 
Um, it's it's banned at the high school level. The NFL has given some thought to outlawing it, but so far it hasn't. Do you think that there's place for that in a college game? Well, I, I think that um, you know we we've tried to make a lot of rules um, in the last few years that are intended to enhance player safety. And uh, I don't think that's necessarily a play when people are running into the pow and uh, aggressively pushing the pow forward. Um, that is, you know, sort of something that enhances player safety. So from a player safety standpoint, um, I mean, from a competitive standpoint, everybody can do it. So it, it really doesn't, you know, matter. Um, it's not a competitive advantage or a disadvantage one way or the other, but I do think there may be a conversation about how it can impact player safety uh, in terms of, you know, doing that kind of aggressive push in the pile. Let's have another follow up. When you have a situation like Malachi Moore, where his absence could just kind of shift the whole defense or the whole secondary, how do you go about preparing for that? Do you cross train a lot or do you just kind of prepare like he's not? Well, we got to put guys in a position and try to train them and get them reps. But, you know, what what is beneficial, really beneficial to players is when they can play a position and they have cumulative reps, right? Not just the reps for that particular game, because, you know, a lot of things that happen have some carryover from, you know, like the games before, fall camp, spring practice. So you, you sort of had have this, you know, baseline of knowledge that's very helpful to you making good choices and decisions and anticipating, you know, adjustments and uh, how to line up and what to do and responsibility and confidence and all those things. So, you know, that's hard to build, you know, in a week. But uh, we want to try to get the guys the most, reps possible so that we can sort of enhance their development the best we can in the short period that we have. But um, I think in the secondary, especially, you know, there, there's usually only a few guys that can play multiple positions that have big picture understanding and can play multiple positions. And most of the time, you know, guys will play better in the secondary when they have, uh, they feel comfortable and confident playing one position and they can play that and they get a the cumulative effect of a lot of repetition. All right. Thank you.